Hey there, happy Old Year's Day. It's December 31st and I'm here on the farm in Vermont about to make my last green smoothie of the year and I'm still using the kale growing in our garden. Yes, it's covered under a foot of snow right now and last night it was in the single digits Fahrenheit which I don't know is like 15 below Celsius, something like that. Pretty cold, but the kale holds up. We've been going through most of it, so there's very little left, so this might actually be the last green smoothie I get from this garden. I'm also gonna be using blueberries from our orchard, which are frozen as well, but in the freezer. So frozen kale, not by choice for the kale, frozen blueberries, some medjool dates, and we're gonna have a green mountain smoothie. Own some bananas, which I left in my car overnight, so they're like totally black. So technically, they're not green mountain ingredients, but they survived a Green Mountain winter overnight in the car, so they've been, I don't know, adopted by Vermont. They're winter bananas now. Okay, so check this kale out. And these leaves, which are tiny, are still growing. It's actually a really nice, beautiful leaf of kale, and I hate to pick it, but they're gonna die out here if I don't. See, this guy's just about gone past. He froze a little too hard, too close to the ground there. I'm gonna take him off. I'm gonna knock this snow off, get these top leaves. So kale is a really hardy plant, and you can grow it in some pretty harsh climates. I think this is a Russian kale, so it tolerates the winter really well. It doesn't like snow, so you have to keep the snow off of it. But it can tolerate uh, below zero. Last year, we had kale in January that it tolerated several below zero days. Um, it's just a matter of growing. It, it doesn't grow as fast in the winter, so you run out much faster. All right, do we have any over here? You guys, you gonna, oh, look at that cute little leaf. Oh, I'm gonna eat you. It's so cute, I'm gonna eat you. Oh, little baby, hi, cutie. I'm gonna eat you. You. This kale has been so good to us this year. Alright. Actually, our kale started doing better at the end of the summer and the beginning of the fall. We had some kind of uh, insect that was eating the kale throughout most of the summer, so I wasn't getting a lot. But once the cold temperatures started coming in, the insects died off and the kale started thriving. Even if you live in a cold climate, you can still be growing greens, really hardy ones. Kale's the only thing that's still alive in the garden. Everything else is long since dead. But the kale keeps on ticking and maybe I'll leave one plant growing just to see if it can make it all the way through January right so there's no excuse not to have greens in a garden if you've got a little bit of land to grow it on so as they say here in southern Vermont I'm gonna go inside now and blend up some greens and blueberries and bananas and dates and get my smoothie on you know that's right I'm going in there and do it right now and then I'm gonna go outside and build a luge that's right we're gonna shovel some snow and we're gonna have a candle lit Lose run tonight out here into the moon and uh, get our snow play on. See ya! People are always asking me to show them the view outside of my window. So here's the view outside the kitchen window. There's our lower garden and our barn down there. And uh, pretty sky today. So for the ingredients of today's Green Mountain Smoothie, we've got Vermont grown kale, survived the winter. We've got a banana that survived single digits in my car last night. We've got four medjool dates, which are my favorite food in the world, so I'm adopting them as well. And we've got some frozen blueberries grown here on the farm. I'm gonna use about half a cup of those guys. 16 ounces of well water, and we're rock and rolling. I just heard a little chirp behind me, which reminds me that I almost forgot the most important ingredient of all. You can't make a green mountain smoothie without adding a little bit of love. So check this out, I got a supply of love behind me waiting. Wow. And here she is. This is my endless supply of love. This is my chirpa. My little girl of 14 years. And she just had a some kind of illness or something that made one of her eyes go dark. So I'm calling her Black Eyed Susan. And she's my little sweet pea, so I'm going to soak up some love here. And then I'm going to bring it over and share it with the smoothie. You want some smoothie, Chirp? Hmm? You want some? Oh, Chirpa. Sweet little Chirpa. Such a good girl. Okay, Chirp. Isn't this stove cool? We use it to heat the kitchen. 
I love this stove. And back over here. Ah. Just what the doctor ordered. Mm, mm, mm. So cheers to a wonderful new year in 2013. And make sure you start the new year off right by doing one of these guys on the last day of 2012. Know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Set yourself up for success. See ya. I can taste the mountain air. Mm. Yeah.